Welcome to the University of Kansas. I'm Patrick Kerner. I'm an Associate Director of Jayhawk Academic Advising. Jayhawk Academic Advising is a great team of professionals who are here to support you throughout your time at the University of Kansas. Academic advisors hold expertise in your academic areas and also hold a lot of knowledge about the university at large. Your academic advisor is the beginning of your network of support here at KU. We are here to help you make a successful transition to the university, to navigate new challenges, to celebrate successes, and point you toward opportunities that align with your goals and perhaps even present you with some additional ideas to incorporate into your time at KU, such as undergraduate research, service learning, student involvement, and study abroad. Our support is personalized to you, and we are looking forward to meeting you and learning about who you are and what you hope to achieve throughout your time at KU. That all begins at orientation, and I will pass things over to my colleague, Dana Hartley, who will share more about advising on your orientation day and beyond. Hi, I'm Dana Hartley, Associate Director in Jayhawk Academic Advising. I want to tell you a little bit more about your orientation day and specifically what you're going to be doing with your academic advisor. You're going to meet one-on-one -on -one for 45 minutes with an advisor who has a lot of knowledge and experience in the area that you choose to study here. A couple of things that you and your advisor are going to do, the very first, enroll. We're going to help you build a schedule for your very first semester here. Typically students take a minimum of 12 hours, which is full time at KU, and you and your advisor are going to build your schedule based on all of the things that you're interested in studying. Be ready to talk to them. Your advisor is going to help you pick classes, pick times of classes, learn a little bit more about the locations for your courses, and you're going to leave feeling ready to rock and roll during that first week here. The other thing that your advisor is going to do is teach you some technology. We want to make sure that you understand some of our systems and learning how to navigate KU technology is one of the easiest ways to be successful here. Before you leave your advising session, make sure you get your advisor's contact information. They're going to be your person. Reach out to them at any point before classes begin with questions that you might have, updates, or any concerns that bubble up. With that, I'm going to turn it over to folks in your academic area. Welcome to your KU School of Music Academic Information Meeting. I'm glad you're joining me as I share this important information with you. My name is Rita Riley and I'm the Director of Student Services for Music. Your network of support, along with the Music Jayhawk Academic Advisor and myself, may include others in music, such as an assigned faculty mentor in music education or music therapy, your lesson instructor, or other music faculty. And please feel free to find us by visiting our website below. Today, I'd like to discuss the different degrees, the academic degree requirements, including the Keyboard Skills Optional Placement Exam, and ensemble auditions, which everyone will need to audition for, uh, your advising coming up at orientation and in the future, other opportunities, and a call to action of ways you can help us help you. So for our uh, music degrees, there are a variety. The choices available to you are based on your audition. The Bachelor of Arts in Fine Arts in Music fits well with a major or minor outside of music. The Bachelor of Fine Arts in Theater and Voice include a combination of music classes and theater classes. Bachelor of Music can be completed on any instrument such as violin, percussion, trumpet, clarinet, or voice, or in music theory or composition, those two require professional sequences, or in musicology or even music therapy. As you um, will learn in the future, we will talk about music therapy because it is our only four and a half year program due to certification, which requires an internship. And the Bachelor of Music Education degree, which includes licensure, so you'll be ready for K through 12, general music, choir, band, orchestra, whatever a school needs, you will know. Um, please find the different undergraduate degree programs at the link below. All music degrees begin with a few common required classes for at least your first semester or first year. There will be music theory, the written harmony, and aural skills, dictation, and sight singing, as well as your lessons, 
um, which will be on the instrument or voice that you auditioned on. Ensembles, which again will be related to what you auditioned on. Uh, recital attendance class for a couple of semesters and keyboard skills for everyone except the Bachelor of Arts and Fine Arts. The keyboard skills placement exam option has a website and explains a video that you can provide in order to move ahead, especially if you've had many years of piano prior to college. The ensemble auditions will take place the first week of class, except for choir. They usually begin the Friday or Saturday prior to the first day of class. And you can find all that information this summer on each of their websites, which are listed below, as well as the Marching Jayhawks, who begin before classes. So you'll definitely want to check them out if you'd like to be part of that. We are here to help you graduate on time. Music degrees can be completed in four years, except for music therapy. After four years of coursework and then a six-month internship, you will meet your degree requirement in music therapy as well as certification requirements. By completing 15 to 17 credits each semester, you will fulfill academic scholarship and degree requirements. And by completing your degree requirements, you will complete the KU Core requirements. For preparation of your orientation day, you will receive some specific degree plan uh, information from me by email. You may also visit the link regarding our undergraduate programs or visit the undergraduate catalog where the link is listed. All music majors are required to take seven to eight semesters of lessons and ensembles, which are offered for variable credit. So you'll need to refer to your requirements to see which number of credits or units, as Enroll and Pay calls them, that you must adjust when you enroll. Permission numbers which are a secret way to get into a class when you aren't allowed, are required for oral skills, which as I mentioned are dictation and sight singing, for voice lessons because there are so many instructors they want to make the assignments and then give you permission to get into the correct one, and for music th therapy students regarding our recital attendance class. The REC 100 class is required for everyone and the music therapy students will be in an intro to music therapy class prior to recital attendance. So you will be allowed to be late, but in order to trick enroll and pay and let you enroll, we will give you permission to get into the recital attendance class that is listed as by appointment, but we'll see you right after your other class. Your assigned Jayhawk academic advisor will assist you in one-on-one -on -one advising on orientation day, and they will answer your questions and support you while you enroll. Music education and music therapy students will also be assigned a faculty mentor and should meet with them each semester. Your network of support members are available all year round for questions. As far as extracurricular opportunities, Study Abroad has many listed on their website, including a music trip over the break, which is normally every January. Research is available in nearly all areas. Just ask your music education or music therapy faculty mentor or your lesson instructor or any others in the area that interests you. Internships are required for music education and music therapy, but there may be others available by watching for emails from KU Music News and the Center for Service Learning, which you can find at their website listed below. And then we have pre-professional and other music student clubs that can be found on our website under resources. I hope you have found this presentation to be helpful. It is expected that you will have questions between now and the first day of classes, so please explore our website, music.ku.edu. Watch for more emails from me with lots of details. Feel free to contact me with questions and stay connected by following the School of Music on social media. I look forward to meeting you and becoming part of your support network. Here are just a few reminders. Please continue your way through the online course prior to your orientation, which includes using Enroll and Pay as you will do that more than you think. <laughs> Send transcripts, especially if you've done or have dual credit from high school. Make sure you send the transcript from the college you completed the work, as well as advanced placement test scores to KU admissions if you have not yet done so. There are also a couple placement exams you may be interested in. If you would like to try for a higher level in math, there's Alex Math Placement, which is online, and the link is below. 
as well as languages for those of you that are required to take a language. If you've had one in high school, I highly recommend you take a placement exam to see if you really should be at the beginning or not, and that's listed below. And then I also have a little extra help for enroll and pay and a link for that below. So please take care of yourself and enjoy the rest of your day. Rock chalk. We hope you enjoyed learning more about your intended area of study here at KU. Know that this will not be the last time before classes start that you get to connect with folks from your academic area of interest. During Hawk Week, the university's official welcome week, we will have events specific to your academic interests and to prepare you for the first day of classes. The Sunday before classes start, you'll take part in Academic Sunday. You'll have a chance to attend your unit's academic welcome and see where your classes are. It may seem far away, but we're already really excited about Hawk Week 2023. Continue to work through your pre-orientation course. Next, you'll take the information you've learned about classes in curriculum from this academic information meeting and practice using enrollment technology and building a semester schedule. At orientation, get ready to meet with lots of amazing folks, gain access to tons of resources, enroll in your first semester of KU classes, and most importantly, get ready to have all of your questions about KU answered. Alex and I are so excited to see you at orientation in the coming weeks. Rock Chalk.